It's a beautiful scene in Medina. I have to say, that's when a little bit of snow kind of makes it more festive. It is. They also have a phenomenal ice festival oh, that yeah. comes a little later in the winter. But, you know, all of us this morning were treated to fog. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing that gets you in the Christmas spirit <laughs> like fog. Uh, but I guess that's where Rudolph comes in, right? Aww. Here's a look at the next few hours. We still have clouds around. We may still have some patchy areas of fog, but I think it's drizzly and showery elsewhere. There you see it, uh, the light rain showers that are still happening across the area. We have had some rumbles of thunder today. We had pea-sized hail reported uh, with a couple little cells that headed right up through Summit County into portions of Geauga and Portage counties, too. That is now over in into Pennsylvania, but these scattered showers are relatively few and far between, although we do have the mist and drizzle that continues in some locations. The winds have been notable this afternoon. We've had a little burst of wind that came through that kicked the wind gusts up over 35 miles per hour. We're still clocking 33 plus mile per hour wind gusts, Acker, Canton, Youngstown, and Ashtabula. Sustained winds anywhere from 10 to 25 at this point. Winds are expected to come down just a little bit into the overnight hours, and you can see these scattered showers that are becoming fewer and fewer in number here over the last hour or two, which is some good news. The real pulse of energy that brought all that to us is now moving out and you can see all the snow that they're expecting up into portions of New England as our storm system rotates out. There's a little wave of energy in the central plains that will miss us to the south and then the next big thing on the map is this whole big thing sitting out here off of the northwestern coast of the U.S. We will be getting a little piece of that. As a matter of fact, the per first little piece of energy is already in the mountains. This is going to come screaming across the northern plains and get, get in here on Tuesday with a little rain snow mix. Watch how this goes down over the next couple of days. There's our little clipper system fast moving area of low pressure that's going to come into the plain states. It's going to get a little bit of, uh, you know, power to it. Bring us a chance for some rain and snow on Tuesday into Wednesday, and then it'll drag in some cooler air by the time we hit Wednesday. But in the meantime, your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast will get into some of the details here for you. The scattered rain that we have tonight will linger with a little mist and drizzle. You can see that we will have a few showers for tomorrow morning. Away from the lake, we have very cool temperatures that are going to be hovering right around freezing. Closer to the lakeshore, it is warmer, but that's where we'll be prone to more of these scattered showers thanks to a west to northwest wind. By midday, temperatures are right around 40 degrees, and I think we'll peak just over 40 in the afternoon tomorrow. A few isolated showers possible as the kiddos get home from school, but once we get into the evening, mostly cloudy skies will persist, and then we start to talk about that snow and mix that's coming in in your Union Home Mortgage forecast for Tuesday. By Wednesday, mostly cloudy, drier conditions, but still in the upper 30s. We'll see warming weather as we head toward the week's end. And we're looking at rain chances returning too.